the roller set. The hairstyle of the 50s known for its big voluminous curls, but for someone like me, known more for stretching out your hair without all of the added heat that is necessary for a full blow dry and straightening silk press. Now for me personally, you may remember that I bleached my hair, not once, but twice. So a full blow dry and flat iron routine is just out of the question for me right now. So I really wanted to try out this roller set to see if this could be my new method for getting that silky smooth blowout. So let's see what happens. No, I don't wanna collab, no, unless I hit you up. Hi friends, so this will be the only portion of the video that I do a voiceover for, but I just wanted to show you all what products I use to shampoo my hair and condition before starting my roller set. I actually use the same products that I would normally use if I was blow drying and straightening my hair. The only difference is I double shampooed so that I could get the benefits of the Olaplex bond building shampoo in addition to my normal Redken all soft shampoo and conditioner. So that's what I've applied and then I detangled my hair thoroughly, put it in sections, before I started the process. So just wanted to give you the insight there. We'll talk in about two seconds, not via voiceover. I just wanted to show you really quickly which products I'm using on my hair before the next step of the actual rollers. Um, and this, these are the same products that I would use if I was blow drying and flat ironing my hair. Um, so I use the TGIN green tea, leave-in conditioner. I only use a tiny, tiny bit of this. And then on top of that, I use the Redken anti-snap. Yeah, extreme anti-snap, anti-breakage leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna show you one section so that you can see how much I'm putting on each section, but I'm gonna do the rest off camera. This I'm gonna be using a lot more of. And it's like super watery. Yeah. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna do that to all four sections and I'm gonna walk around the house and get shit done with my four plaits. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm back, but it's the next day. <laughs> so as I mentioned, I was doing some rearranging. As you can see, um, my room just feels completely different. It kind of looks completely different, um, but I still have work to do. Yesterday, with everything that I was doing, it just got too late for me to try to do this style because I know this is going to take a couple of hours. So I figured I would start fresh today. It is 11.59, so noon on Sunday. And I just really quickly wanted to go over all of the things that I'm going to be using because I originally was going to get... Ooh, focus. Come on. Focus. Okay. <laughs> I originally was going to get a lot of these items on Amazon. And actually, everything that I needed ended up being cheaper especially when you factor in like shipping and stuff at my local beauty supply than it was on amazon so i just did that including <laughs> i got a hooded dryer yes i got a hooded dryer i know it might seem like i'm doing a lot just for this one style but if this because of, if this actually becomes an alternative to blow drying and flat ironing my hair i think i'm going to save myself a lot of potential damage and it's just going to be better overall and i think everything total like everything that i got cost about sixty dollars and i was contemplating getting a new flat iron that was not titanium so that i didn't get as much heat damage and that flat iron was going to be about a hundred dollars so i saved some money not necessarily time but like i said i'm having fun i'm filming a video and this could maybe hopefully be a good process for me so let's go over everything i so like i said i got this um hooded dryer it's 200 and 2500 watts um i looked online and apparently like 1800 watts was the recommended for the minimum and then i got two packs of the magnetic 
roller. Now I couldn't decide between the three inch and the two inch, I think that's what these are. This is what I was looking at on Amazon. I really wanted all of these because I'm not going for a curled look, I'm going for a blowout. Like I want my hair as straight as I can get it. Um, so I wanted the big ones, but this was the only pack that they had. So I'm gonna use this on the longer pieces on my head, and then I'm gonna use this everywhere else, which might end up being pretty good, especially on the sides. So. I got both of these that should be enough for my whole head. If it's not, I'm screwed because it's Sunday. <laughs> um, and then I got the little magnetic clippies. These were $8 for $80. I think on Amazon for $50, it was like $6. So it just made sense to get them at the store. I got saran wrap for the silk wrap portion that I've never done before. Like literally this whole process, I've never done any of this before. So we're going to see how that goes. I obviously got that at the grocery store and not at the beauty supply. And then I got a spray bottle because my bottle is my product and I need to actually put water and my foaming lotion in here. I am going to be using the Nairobi, yes, Nairobi foaming lotion here I'm gonna mix this with water and apply it to my head so this is gonna go in the spray bottle and it's gonna make sure that I don't overuse it I am gonna have to re-wet my hair but mixing the water is gonna allow me to make sure that my hair stays damp through the whole process so those are all the tools I'm gonna get set up so that everything is in arm's reach and I don't have to get frustrated because this is something new I forgot something I forgot to tell you guys that I bought this thing this like detangler brush um i've never used them my dimming brush was like nine years old and sir chewed it up so it it was it was a hot mess and it was time so i was like you know what this might be a good opportunity to try this thing out so i'll let you guys know what i what i think um and if i like this better than a dimmin. i don't know so I'm very impressed with myself so I'm actually I don't want to take my like move my camera because the focus is like perfect <laughs> so I'm just gonna film on my phone my little setup so I have my iPad for when I'm watching my videos I have my spray bottle my clips and things and these over here so I can just grab and go okay Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. No, I don't like wearing bras if you haven't noticed that already. Um, also, I've decided that I've decided that I'm not going to go re-wet my hair, honestly, because I know that this is going to take me some time. And I feel like it's just going to re-dry anyway. So in my water bottle, I filled it up to here with the setting lotion and then the rest is water. And I'm just going to make sure to spray down each section. Also, I think that's going to help me a lot with creating my sections right now. Um, I don't really want to do that on wet hair. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening here? What? Can you see this? Excuse me? I watched, when I say a ton of videos, I do mean a ton of videos because I have no knowledge on how to do this style. So I wanted to see like how people on YouTube did it, how the professionals did it, and kind of find my own system <laughs> between the two. And there was one girl, if I can re remember her video, I'll tag her because she had like the best freaking tips one of which was how to measure the sections for the roller. So basically, I'm gonna take it this way and then part it where this ends. And then I'm gonna take it this way and part it on the sides. And that's how you know you have the correct amount of hair on each roller. And I never would have thought to do that. So I think that that's gonna be a lifesaver for me. So girl, I know that video was old, but thank right. you. So we are sectioned, we are prepped and ready to go. But I measured out my first section here. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's not work good. Ooh, hold up now. Remember this is my first time using this? What type of witchcraft? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh 
Okay, just making sure it's completely wet. Oh wait, I gotta hold it out this way. Okay, am I rolling it the right way? I can't remember if I'm supposed to roll it forward or backwards. I think I'm supposed to roll it backwards. gonna be there is a possibility that I, what <laughs> there is a possibility I'll have to go over it very lightly with my flat iron if I want like a completely silky blowout whatever you know what I'm trying to say um but I mean it's not terrible but it's just not as taut as I'm trying to get it and these ones on this side it's hard to figure out the sections so i definitely need to do some more studying aka watching some more youtube videos to see the best way to part it um but i'm making it work i'm definitely making it work i ended up redoing so many of these because as i would like do another one i would fuck up i'm sorry i would mess up a different one and it would get all frizzy or hairs would be hanging out or it would be loose or it would fall it's a little bit frustrating, but again, it's my first time, so I will give myself grace. This is how we're looking. Some of them definitely look better than others. I had to do this without messing it up, but I just want to put this around here and like around my ears. Okay, let's go this way. because I know this is gonna take a while to dry like some people said they were under the dryer for like an hour hour and a half two hours I'm gonna get me a little snack <laughs> I'm going to get my iPad um, because what I want to do is some video planning so I'm gonna do that and get set up in the living room because my room is small and I don't want to get hacked It's been a couple of hours. I wasn't under the dryer for the full couple of hours, but I was under there for a lot of time. A lot of time. Um, I will be very shocked if this is not fully dry. Um, you can obviously see where my hair is gonna be like super straight and where it's gonna be poofy because it wasn't really that tight. And a lot of it is at the base and that's just rookie, you know, whatever. I'm gonna take this down. Wow! <laughs> well, that actually looks, wow, look at that. That's crazy, it just fell out. Mm, 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 mm. That purple, man. <laughs> I don't know how to do this because, okay, I just gotta keep going. 
because I, well, it's the way that I roll them. I did watch a couple more videos um, and I got some more tips. So this is definitely something I'm gonna be trying again. Oh my God, I'm hype. And it's, I'm hype. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. I was putting these clips anywhere, boy. The big ones are what's up, just like I expected, but. So this is what I'm talking about. Look at my roots. And then the rest is like perfect. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Actually, let me go ahead and use my Kenra because if I do end up pressing my roots, I want to make sure I use some type of heat protectant. And I know that this is super light. sure like how my hair was gonna feel um with just that the products that I use like if it was gonna feel dry if it was gonna feel moisturized and I say it feels good like not heavy at all maybe a little more dry than I would like for it to be wow giving me very much whatever era it was or people wore their hair big and curly like this I've done enough ooing and awing. <laughs> I am gonna very lightly press out my hair. All right, boom, we are here. First of all, moment of silence because the girl has inches. This is, this is insane. Um, I'm proud. I put the work in. She is here. <laughs> but it still genuinely amazes me. So this is it. This is she. I am going to give myself a trim. Not today, but probably this week. Uh, I'm going to use my Chi Silk Infusion to just run through my hair, brush my hair, and wrap it. I'm not going to pretend to know what I'm doing when it comes to wrapping. Um, it's been a long time, but I did watch some videos, and I kind of remember the way that I used to do it way, way, way back in the day. Oh, this is going well. This is so much easier when your hair is long. <laughs> Mercy, it's so pretty. Okay, that is that. Now, I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna be honest, I do not know how to do this. I'm not gonna do a piece, I'm just gonna actually use the box and wrap it around my head. back under the dryer I don't really know how long um maybe I'll google it but I'm thinking maybe like 15 20 minutes and then I'll be there. <sighs> who's ready I'm ready I'm super excited <laughs> okay I was sweating a little bit Brush or comb? Let me just do this first. Loosen her up a bit. Okay. 
Nope. Okay. That ain't working. Ain't that silky smooth? <laughs> I wrapped this thing tight, boy. I don't think this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> It's definitely straight. I don't know how much of a difference that part made. I guess it's, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how much of a difference it made if we're being completely honest. Guys, I think this might, if I have the time, like if I have a whole day and I have like a special event, granted, I don't even straighten my hair that often, but I think this is a good alternative because the amount of heat that I actually put on my hair versus when I blow dry my hair and flat iron my hair, as far as direct heat goes, I think it's it's a big difference. And overall, it worked very well. It looks good. I'm gonna have to figure out the balance of products because I think with that foam in lotion, which I kind of, I've used it before for other things, and I'm just not sure how much of a fan I am of that specific one. I kind of want to try like the Lotta Body or some of the other brands that are known to be a little bit more moisturizing. Um, and I think that might do me some good. So we're going to have to play around with this, which means I'm going to have to do this more often. But let's see how my hair does. Let's make sure when it when it's wash day, she reverts. She looks good. I'm not feeling damaged or anything like that. And as long as that stuff checks out this is definitely the way to go this this is the way to go i am pleased look at my hair it's so long wow i just don't know what to use on it to um it's just like slightly dry it's just ever so slightly dry but i don't want to overdo it with the oil so i'm just gonna let it kind of be out while i finish my things for the day and then tonight when I wrap my hair, I'm gonna probably apply some more oil to my ends. And then later this week, these bad boys are getting clipped. They're not as bad as I thought they were now that I'm looking at my hair straight, which makes me really happy. But this is it. This is she. I know this was kind of a mess, but uh, this, <laughs> I can, I feel like the vibe of this video is so much more me than some of my sit down videos. Not that those are fake, but this was just me not trying to be prim and proper and me not trying to stick to a script or anything. Like I was just trying it out and experimenting and I think it was a success. I would consider this kind of a success. It would have been more of a success if my roots were, um, what's it called? You know what I'm trying to say, I, I, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say, okay? So I need to get better at this process and get better at rolling overall. But like I said, I'm happy. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think. If you've done this yourself, not necessarily been to a salon to do it, but done it at home and you have recommendations for how to's or products that you know work really, really good, let me know because I'm definitely gonna be doing this again. Okay, thank you guys if you stuck through this whole video. Thank you so, so much. As always, don't forget to check in, subscribe with yourself before you subscribe to me or anybody else. But if you're good and you're good, then like and subscribe to my channel as well. I'll see you guys next time. Look, look. Bye. <laughs>